Find the area between f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 1 and g of x equals negative x squared minus 2x plus 7. We'll begin by looking at the graphs of these two functions. Here is the graph of f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. It's a parabola facing up. The graph of negative x squared minus 2x plus 7 g of x is pictured here in blue. It's also a parabola because it's a quadratic. It's facing down due to the negative in front of the x squared term. And when we look at both parabolas on the same coordinate plane, we can see that there's a region enclosed by the two curves, and it is the area of this region that we're going to find. We'll be using integration to find the area between these two curves. So I'll begin by setting up an integral. And the bounds on this integral will come from the x values where this region begins and ends. And as I look at this from left to right, the enclosed region between these two parabolas begins at x equals negative 3, that will be our lower bound, and ends at x equals 1, that will be our upper bound. We're going to subtract the two functions in this integration. However, it's very important to realize that when subtracting, order is important. And the order of this subtraction will be that it will begin with the curve that is above the other curve between x equals negative 3 and x equals 1. And based on these two graphs, g of x at all points at every x value between negative 3 and positive 1, the graph of g of x is always above the graph of f of x. So when we set up this integration, g of x will come first and f of x will come second in the subtraction. The integral from negative 3 to 1 of g of x minus f of x will give us the exact area of the region enclosed by these two curves. Now that we know what the integral to find this area looks like, we'll just have to do the definite integration to find the exact area of the region between f of x and g of x. We've discussed that the area will be, will be exactly the integral from negative 3 to 1 of g of x minus f of x. g of x is negative x squared minus 2x plus 7, and f of x is x squared plus 2x plus 1. It's important in this subtraction that you realize that there will have to be a distribution of a negative. I'll have to distribute a negative to the second term in this subtraction. Distributing that negative yields negative x squared minus 2x minus 1. We can then combine like terms before integrating. We can combine like terms. Negative x squared minus x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2x minus 2x is negative 4x and positive 7 and negative 1 have a sum of positive 6. So this integral simplifies to negative 2x squared minus 4x plus 6. We can integrate each individual term with the power rule for integration. The integral of negative 2x squared is negative 2x to the third divided by 3. The integral of negative 4x is 4x squared over 2, which can simplify to 2x squared, and the integral of 6 is 6x. And we will be evaluating this as a definite integral from negative 3 to 1. Now that we've used the power rule for integration on each term, we'll simply have to substitute a negative 3 for x into each term in the integral and subtract that from the result of substituting a 1 for each x, and that will give us the exact area between the two curves. Substituting first a 1 for x yields negative 2 thirds times 1 to the third power, minus 2 times 1 to the second power, plus 6 times 1. And from this, we will subtract the result of substituting a negative 3 for x, which is negative 2 thirds times negative 3 to the third power, minus 
2 times negative 3 squared plus 6 times negative 3. In the first term, whenever we're dealing with factors of 1, the calculation is fairly simple. Negative 2 thirds times 1 to the third power is simply negative 2 thirds. Negative 2 times 1 squared is negative 2. And 6 times 1 is 6. In the second term of the subtraction, we have to be a little careful. We're dealing with a negative number. Realize that negative 3 to the third power is still negative 27 times 2 thirds times negative 2 thirds is positive 18. Negative 3 squared is positive 9 times 2 is 18. So this is going to be minus 18. And 6 times negative 3 will also yield a minus 18. Negative 2 thirds minus 2 plus 6 has a sum of 10 thirds. 18 minus 18 is 0, but then we're adding an additional negative 18. So that sum together is negative 18. We end up with 10 thirds plus 18 to represent the exact area between f of x and g of x. 10 thirds plus 18 is 64 thirds. 64 thirds. And this number, which is, which is equal to 21.3 repeating, is the exact area between f of x and g of x.